what's going on viewers um today we're gonna build this um void simulation and i haven't uploaded video for a very long time oh hey this is future me trying to edit this video um i was yapping a bit too much so i'm gonna take over this one basically if you have seen those kind of birds flying around in groups that's what we're gonna be doing today we're gonna use c sharp with this library called raylib it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be cool it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome so i would have just I'm gonna start doing it. Let's get some water. And first thing first, um, let's create a project. I don't know what we call this. Let's call it I got an idea. My boy. <laughs> so oh my God. the reason I'm using C sharp is because I've been writing it so much, you know what is that main function <laughs> public static void main string args easy <laughs> let's do some uh, hello world and hopefully um this thing work yep it does um we're gonna use raylib so um this is the hello world code that i'm gonna use dot net run again bam Hello, it does work. Relib is a very cool library. It's available in so many languages, not just C Sharp. And apparently, a lot of people use it to make video games. But the reason I use it was because it can draw simple shapes on the screen. You can see it's uh, on the left corner, top corner, because it's dot zero zero over there. So if I change this to, let's say, 200, uh, 300, whatever, 200 and 300, for example. This is X, this is Y, X is left and right, Y is up and down for all the cavemen out there. I'm sorry, that, that was bad. You can see it's down here. And uh, we're going to create a new object called, sorry, class. I think I need to explain why I use C Sharp in the first place. Um, I started a programming in Unity, mm. making games in C Sharp, but I was never a fan of it. It's not because I wrote a lot of it to realize it is good or bad, but someone on Reddit says it's bad. So it just stays in my mind for a very long time that this language owned by the biggest fast food company, Microsoft, is a terrible language for some reason. Draw. Hey, 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 forgot. It's capital. It's C sharp. Until recently, I was doing this competition called the Skill Ontario, and our coach recommended that we use C sharp because you know the other choice is C plus plus, C and Rust. So I'm not gonna spend like six hours trying to debug C or C plus plus. So yeah, I was practicing for months, and for the entire time I was writing C sharp to make CLI application. I was training for it. I was grinding for it. But yeah, that's the reason I, I do it in C sharp. At least it's better than JavaScript, you know. Um, for this, for this, um, what am I saying? For our bird, we're gonna draw it in the form of triangle because there are a lot of um. Yeah, you can see they drew it in sort of triangle. Easy and nice. I guess I'm not that good at C sharp at all. And we're gonna use um color red. Are there red bird out there? Oh yeah. <laughs> this is the dude in our simulation now. Okay, I'm gonna create a new bird. Call it bird equal to new bird. And now we draw bird. Oh, look at that. There's our little guy over there. 100. Yeah. <laughs> look at that. There's our bird. Let's make it move. This dot position is equal to, well, first of all, let's get um, the velocity up. Call it bell. It's equal to direction multiplied with speed. The reason we use direction instead of velocity itself directly, it's because... Um, it's because I made a lot of bad decision, and this is one of them. To keep track how something is moving, all we need is two number for this case. One is for how fast it's going up and down, and another one for left and right. But what I did, I create a variable to store which angle it is moving, and another one is how fast it is moving. Well, mathematically speaking, 
um, this is fine. It it's not gonna be any big deal. But it was a pain for me to convert everything back and forth to actually make things move. It's it's a terrible choice. I should have done something else, you know, like go outside and take some grass. But yeah, this one decision come back to me later on and I wasted like an hour. What the like this? Something like that? Let's go. Okay, awesome. <laughs> He's moving. Let's go. Uh, Alright. Let's make it faster. I'm still standing better than I ever did. So our plan is to create a bunch of birds. A lot of them. And then apply some behaviors on it we finally got to the point of the video basically if you have a lot of things moving around and you apply simple behaviors onto it such as these three for example it usually create very complex result out of it and some of them look very sick like the one we're doing right now but before we can do that we have to make sure that our birds stay in the screen first and one way to solve that is to make it like this well let's see let's see oh Oh, oh, okay, it worked, okay. okay. Well, it is very terrible, as you can see, and I actually end up making a better one, which you will see later. But for now, we need a lot of birds, like a lot of them, like birds, even like more birds. What am I saying? Oh, did it just, did it just lag? To an instant of object, what do you mean? Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> that's... That's... That is art. Okay. Now the, the, the hard part. We have to... Uh... Do you remember the terrible decision that I mentioned? Yeah, it's coming back now. Oh, what is that? Oh. That was American Airlines during the crowd strike um, crash or something. I don't know. Don't sue me. What is our bird doing? <laughs> it's so weird. Why are they just flipping like that? Oh, it's too pie. A full circle is two pi. Oh, what is? Ooh, 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 ooh. Relax. Oh no, I need to figure out if I should turn left or right. Oh. It was at this moment that he knew. He. F Why do I do angle in the first place? Is stupid. Oh, why am I going? Blurry. Okay, attempt number two. Um, I restart everything. Um, this bird now uh, started random position, move at random direction, speed, and so on. Now I want to make it so that every time it get close to the wall, it turn. It's kind of turn around, you know, it doesn't hit the wall. Last time it teleport from one wall to another, but this time we're gonna make it like a real bird, you know, so it doesn't just tweaking around. Oh, position work. Why does it look like that? Why does it stop sometime? I guess our range is too large. What is this? It's looking kind of cool though. It's it's like it's like one of those. I don't know what I'm saying. Is Boyd a plural of birds? <laughs> oh, it does turn around. Look at that. Look look at that. Uh, let's pick one dude and look at this dude going. Oh oh oh! Where's he? Let me let me crank up the speed with which it turn, you know, um check wall. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh. 
it's been an hour and a half. Oh, good luck, my future me gonna edit this. Yeah, it's been like two months now. Mostly procrastinating and playing Minecraft. But if you want to see me suffer even more, you can comment down below of some ideas I can do. Um, we got the bird moving around and it will turn around if it got too far to the wall. There's some of it that still kind of, you know, go a little too far to the wall and then come back again. But that's fine. Yeah, none of them get lost anywhere. It stay there. So let's do um the first one, separation. So we're going to move this bird to that bird. No, we have to get the average. No. Separation, as the name suggests, is very simple. We're trying to separate birds from one another so that they don't hit and run. The simplest solution or algorithm for this is kind of slow because for every single bird, we have to look for the one that is closest to it and then make it go the opposite way. That means there is a lot of checking and as the fancy programmer would like to say, it is O of N squared time complexity. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, some of it try to avoid. Uh, yeah, 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 see that, see that? Oh, 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 this bird in front of me, I'm gonna avoid it. Yeah, let's do alignment the alignment behaviors also make sense in this context every single one of this bird basically gonna look around itself with a specified range of how far it can look and then it basically trying to follow the direction and speed of the other bird in that range that means there will be also a lot of checking o of n square to be specific separation is 20 that's all right alignment is to 0 0.1 oh you can see it's here yeah you can see it's kind of aligned together all right, let me let me just show you what we did, what I did. First of all, uh, this bird try to avoid the the wall. Uh, check out this one. See, it's coming back. Second one is that um, they will try to avoid the other. The third one is that um, they will try to align themselves with the other. And then we do we go to the third one, cohesion, which means that bird will try to clumps together rather than just splash around. You know splash around some of you might be asking if we're trying to separate the bird using the separation algorithm or whatever why do we need cohesion why do we want the bird to come back it doesn't make any sense and to answer that question we're gonna take a look at this one run a few moments ago yeah you can see it's kind of aligned together you might be able to see this lonely bird over here it's not following anything because the only behaviors so far are separation and alignment so cohesion will be there in order to make them flies in groups basically and the algorithm also very similar to alignment we check around the bird with a specific range and then we go to the direction that has more bird you can see it's it's very laggy because um Oh, yeah, what I was going to say is that it's very laggy because uh, we, for each of this bird, we go through every other bird. So it's, it's lag. Let's see if I can make it a little more. See if 500 can hold it. Oh, it does. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> okay, I have an idea. So how about this? Um... Yeah, this one looks fine. How about me using this and me notice I I need I need the RGB. Ooh. <laughs> Looking stupid. <laughs> no, this is art. This is abstract, you know. Okay, that's that's cool, isn't it? It's full screen. so proud of this 
Okay, um, I guess that's it for today. Um, <laughs> that's too long. Okay, if, um, for those who need the code, I'll put it somewhere in the description or the comment or somewhere on the internet and you have to find it out by yourself. Uh, I don't know how to end this video, so yeah, but that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. I mean, you click it. Oh my god, you Spotify ads. Ooh.